Like this particular reaction is often referred to as elephant toothpaste because the amount of foam that it actually produces. But it's a great example of a rocket reaction as well. Now if we look at the actual reaction that we're going to do is we're going to look at the decomposition, the rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. We're going to have a solution that's mostly water of hydrogen peroxide. Then we're going to use a catalyst to decompose it into water. We'll get, actually get a mixture of water liquid and water vapor and oxygen gas. It's a good rocket reaction uh, for two reasons. We start out with something that has a high density, the liquid, and the chemical reaction is producing gases, and the reaction is exothermic. So it makes hot gases quickly, which is the basis for a rocket reaction. In satellites, uh, hydrogen peroxide has been used as what we call a monopropellant before. It's not used anymore, but it's being looked at as a monopropellant, again, as a safer alternative to what is currently used, which is hydrazine. Uh, but it's a good propellant because it, it's easy to decompose. There's lots of catalysts that work really, really well for it. You pass it over the catalyst bed, you get the hot gases very, very quickly. And we're going to be able to see that here as well. We associate rockets reactions with a flame coming out the back end of a rocket, but it doesn't have to be. It's got to be a reaction that makes gases, makes them hot, and makes them quickly. And Alexa is going to help me out on this. I'm going to pour the hydrogen peroxide solution into this graduated cylinder. And then I'm going to pour some dishwashing soap on top of it. The dish liquid is going to serve to capture the gases product gases that are being produced here so they'll be easier to see. It's going to capture them in the form of some foam. And now we're going to add the catalyst. And we're going to use a solution of potassium iodide. If you pick up the beaker, I want you to hold it so the lip is touching here. And then when I tell you to pour it in, pour everything into there carefully but quickly, then move your hand out of the way. Go ahead and pour it. And move your hand. And we can see that the foam is being produced, that's the sign of the gas. You're all probably able to see the condensation of the steam coming off of there. And Alexa, if you'd come over here, if you put your hand over the foam, you can feel that it's quite warm as well, which is a verification that even though we're not getting a flame, the reaction is definitely exothermic. So we have a rocket reaction that's making a lot of gas, it's making it quickly, and the gas is hot.